Good afternoon, Sunday, October 21st, 1.35 p.m. This is Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, and you're looking at Mars. You're looking at one of the three electrical scars south of Olympus Mons, the one on the left, with the streamer or plume emanating from the edge of it, is Arja Major. Arja Mons, down in the south here, in the Tharsis Montes. So if you don't know where that is, we'll come over to this color photo. And if this were Mars, the north was burned off of the planet and is missing up to four kilometers of crust, and the south still has its crust. But on the margin here, there is electrical scarring everywhere. The Valles Marineris, one of the largest electrical scars we can see in our solar system, is part of a huge electrical circuit here that has been determined to be a positive and a negative arcing motion here. And Olympus Mons, Alba Mons, Tempe Terra, and the Tharsis Montes, boom, 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 are all thought to be electrical scars moving across the surface. Lightning. <laughs> now, coming from ESA, there is evidence that there is an eruption happening on Mars from the edge of one of these electrical scars, which geologically, if this was recently electrified, There could be molten material below the surface that is now raising up. And it could be rising up because of the cosmic ray increase in our solar system. Heating the magma in the subsurface and reawakening a volcano. I'm going to go over here to Secure Team and Tyler put out a video. Of all things, I agree with him. He doesn't know much about the science, but you should check out his video. He has excellent footage of the ESA photos. And now, clearly, I want you to take a look at these images uh, because we're going to look at some volcanic images of actual volcanoes on Earth, and then you can decide what you believe. I'll leave you links to all this below, including the Flickr ESA photos, which you can go through yourself. Whoa. Uh, Martian maps to do your own research and I implore you to go to the Thunderbolts project to check out some information on electric universe theory here we see a plume on earth emanating from a cinder cone volcano here's the Mars photo now notice how the plume is tight here and as we go to the north it widens and it fans out clearly showing that there is Martian atmosphere, there is Martian wind, and there is a plume blowing or emanating due to a northerly wind. A wind blowing in the north direction. That would be a southerly wind. So here's an earth volcano. Now here is a long plume from earth. It starts tight. It maintains a linear form. And it, it stays pretty much linear the whole way, but it gets a little thinner, maybe a few hundred miles out. Same thing we're seeing here. A few hundred miles out, the plume thins. Just like on Earth, where we have an atmosphere. Here's another example. Here's a sh what's called the streamer off of the main plume. And this is caused due to wind shear which appears to be a wind shear from left to right here in this plume. Absolutely amazing. This is Mount Etna. Now let's talk about volcanic eruptions in our solar system. We actually have video fo uh, photographic evidence of a plume from what could be a volcanic eruption on Io, a moon of Jupiter. And if we look at a map of Io, it is electrically scarred like Mars. It looks just like Mars. And there are volcanoes erupting on it. We know that. There's a Chilean plume. 
it's exactly the same. Clearly, there is a volcanic eruption happening on Mars. It's not new. There have been massive clouds erupting up to 260 kilometers into the Martian atmosphere that we've recently seen. Bottom left. See the cloud there above Mars? That's due to a volcanic explosion, potentially. Now, it could also be electrical in nature. Here are those three electrical scars, Olympus Mons and the others. The Valles Marinares here. And the areas of yellow, red, and blue are areas where aurora have been seen or areas of Mars glowing. And that volcanic eruption, quote unquote, is coming from the edge of one of these aurora areas. So it could be electricity that's charging the subsurface, causing a volcanic eruption on Mars. This is a continuous and extended event or you wouldn't get a plume. And I'll leave you links to Mars Express discovering auroras on Mars. Now they have had difficulty communicating with the Mars rovers. And it might be because they are looking at an eruption and they don't know what to make of it. And I tell you what it is. As our sun shuts down, we are going to see events like this solar system wide. We have an electric comet coming in. 2023 should put on a spectacular show. We have major volcanic eruptions on Mars, which has less of an atmosphere than Earth. So the next place for major volcanic eruptions in our solar system will be Earth. Clearly, there is an eruption on Mars. And NASA and the mainstream are not talking about it. Be safe, everyone.